Good morning, live from the rooftop of my apartment building in Delray Beach, Florida. It's how we doing it. Today is Tuesday, June 18th, 2019. Today is episode 110. Shelly, and a happy birthday to Shelly's son, Peter, better known as my nephew. PJ, have an awesome day. Happy birthday, buddy. So the word of the day, good morning, Whitey and Debbie. The word of the day is crisis. Episode 110. Here's the quote. Change the changeable. Accept the unchangeable and remove yourself from the unacceptable. Sounds easy to do, so I'll say it again. Change the changeable. Accept the unchangeable and remove yourself from the unacceptable. That's how you deal with crisis. Now, losing your head in a crisis is a good way to become the crisis. That's right. Losing your head in a crisis is a good way to become the crisis. And you know who I'm talking about. Sometimes you make a mountain out of a mohill. And that's because of the mechanisms that go crazy when we're in crisis mode. Now, how do we get out of crisis? We know how to get in it. How do you get out of it? And you know, I talk all about the buses, but this goes deeper. Weather. Sometimes you plan a trip. Sometimes you plan an event. You can even plan an outdoor wedding. And what happens when the weather doesn't cooperate? Is it a crisis or you look for plan B? Business. We got crisis all the time. Do we treat everything like it's a fire drill? No. We deal with it one problem at a time. Then when you talk about, you know, health, that's the crisis that's most important. When you get that warning, Good morning, Kang. And when you know that something's not right with your health, you go ahead and you deal with it before it becomes a crisis. And there's so many people that ignore all the warning signs of their health. What are you thinking? You want to wait for the crisis? No. Avoid the crisis by taking care of yourself today. Hey, Richard, how you doing? Hey, Larry, how you doing? Then there's the financial crisis. Only you know how to do what you need to do to get out of it. It's one step at a time. And then of course, the relationship crisis. I know, I tried, you can only fix it so far. You can't change others, so you move on. That's what you do. None of them easy choices, but you don't have to make it so that it's a crisis that paralyzes you and you can't move forward. You know, speaking about weather, I'm gonna start talking as I have been about a friend, Wayne Kurtz. Wayne got on his bike in Portland, Oregon with a set of ending in Washington, DC. He's riding across America. I think it's 3,800 miles. Well, he has faced rain the last three days to the tune of 12 inches. If you look at the map I posted, he's in Indiana and he's, you know, like riding west to east. All of a sudden they send him south. He's riding around the puddles, the floods, and the devastation. It's a crisis, but he's dealing with it because he's got his eye on the prize, which is Washington, D.C. So, Wayne, be safe out there. You're incredible. You, you're motivating beyond anything that I know right now. I'm watching you in awe. Be safe and just keep going. Keep pedaling. Keep on trucking, buddy. I know you're going to get there, and it'll just make for a better story. When I look up the word grit, your picture's right there. So I know I hear another word, midlife crisis. Oh, look at that guy. Look at the car he bought. Oh, look at that woman. Look she did to her hair. Who cares? Just another age. Does it have to be crisis or you want to have fun? You want to change your hair from red to blonde to blue to green? You want to get a sports car, a convertible, an off-road truck? Who cares? Enjoy life. Who are we to judge? Midlife crisis. No, what is that? It's a coin name. And if you are going through one, talk to somebody about it. You work your way through it. Now, being challenged in life is inevitable. Being defeated is optional. Come on, Whitey. 
They threw the guy down. They broke his spine. Right? He didn't lay there. He's getting up. He's walking now. Being defeated is optional. The crisis you're in today is developing the strength you need tomorrow. I'm going to say that one again because I understand that one. The crisis you're in today is developing the strength you need tomorrow. Here's a good one. Always remember that your present situation is not your final destination. The best is yet to come. That's being optimistic, that's staying positive, and that's not allowing yourself to live in full-time crisis. You know, one of my goals this year is to get on a TEDx stage. Now, I'm not sure if anyone that's watching me knows somebody that could help me get on one, but I'm going publicly today to ask because that's what I was recommended to do. I have multiple applications out there. The process is moving along, but it's a goal that I've set for myself in 2019. If you can help me by sh recommending me or introducing me, I would be forever grateful. So thank you. How we doing it? Live from a steamy. Talk about this shirt for a minute. Look at this shirt. You want to talk about crisis? You want to talk about people who are waking up every day fighting for their life? And we think we're in crisis with some of our issues. Now, I'm not minimizing anything that anybody is going through. Because your little problems, if they're big to you, then they're big. But this is life and death. This is serious. Now, I know the camera gets it backwards, but you can read what it says. So those people are fighting. They're courageous. And let's just hope and pray. But for everybody else, have an awesome day. How we doing it? Wayne, be safe out there. And again, thank you in advance if anybody could help me on a TEDx stage. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.